so I've decided to remove the carburetor after all at this point in time. I'm waiting for some parts to arrive so I thought I'm going to have to take it off anyway so I may as well do it now. And actually the condition of the gas, the petrol was so bad that it's most likely pretty bad inside that carburetor anyway so I may as well make a start on it now. Um, I also dropped this float ball here as well, there's a little screw here and a similar one on the diagonal on the other side and just dropping the float ball alone I could see it was black in there so I'm definitely going to have to take it apart so I'll do that now and um, what I'll start by doing is just removing this here this little manifold here is for the gas tap of course and you may recall I took this off before just to empty the gas out through these these uh, tubes here and um, just two little screws here one here and one underneath at the bottom and then um, I'll remove this is a breather pipe remove that there's another f pipe on the other side take it off the manifold remove the air supply feed here this uh, sock and the clip here as well and then I'll take the camera around the other side of the bike uh, to see this clutch cable sorry choke cable um, that goes into the carburetor and then of course the the throttle cable here as well so here's the other side of the carburetor and here you'll see this is the choke mechanism as well as you pull on the choke cable at the top of the it's a little stiff as well, so I'll, uh, I'll uh, yeah, you see that didn't come back. I'll uh, lubricate that cable as well. But um, the way to remove this cable is you just simply hold on to the cable itself, push this mechanism, and then twist, little tricky, twist the cable round until it pops out. A bit like a... Um, a lever, a lever on a handlebar, you see it just pops out there, that little trunnion, I'm not sure what they're called here, but, and then I'll, I'll straighten that up, but that's it essentially, that's the cable removed, dead simple, and then I'll start removing some of these other screws and the, th the throttle here from the manifold, I already started removing this, this was a little tight on there, so I removed the clip and then pushed that back, and so that'll all come free nicely. I think I'm going to have to invest in some metric wrenches. All my wrenches are uh, British Standard Whitworth's BSW. I don't usually like to use these adjustable wrenches. They're just kind of a last resort for me for the most part. For that reason. There we go. And oh, there's a little screw on there. I have not noticed that little bracket that holds the cable at the top. Wow, that's tight. So that's the carburetor removed. That was 
just a little tight on that boot there, that rubber boot. It had actually sealed onto the uh, the end of the carburetor. So anyway, it only took a few minutes to get off. And then looking up here at the handlebar, I've removed the throttle cable from uh, the throttle unit here so that it would free up down here and so that allowed me to remove the spring and the slide and there's a little retaining clip as well so that's out now this is the choke the choke cable what it will also allow me to do as well by having removed uh, this unit here um, I'll squirt some uh, lubricant down there I've got a little oiler unit that I'll squirt some lubricant down there to uh, just uh, lube these these cables